Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodnacks.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. We are going to thoroughly review all tools to create your personal site on Google Sites and do it substantially. Here you can see types of content to add which are text boxes, images, files from Drive, and even embedding the HTML code. We'll get to it later. Little template blocks for organizing the content. And these are basically visual adjustments. Then a video from YouTube or your Drive. Calendar sharing. Map for location. And then insert docs, slides, and sheets with just incredible live preview right on the site interactable forms and charts. Not many types of data to insert, but it's certainly enough considering the purpose of this builder and the fact that it's meant to be used inside the Google Workspace ecosystem. For other types of content, you insert links to external sources or links to these files on your drive. You can start adding objects with these basic commands and do it by hand or start with a few presets for blocks. Let's choose the first one. Very basic one, but this block is not for just photo. It's meant for all data formats, and when you click on plus, you get a selection, top to bottom. With upload, you simply upload an image from your PC. Then you select an image from your drive, Google Drive or other tabs, by the link or find some in Google with this bar on top or your albums. Yet now I go straight to my drive. And this image is good. By pulling these dots, you can resize it. And a press hold will allow you to move it inside this block, but in accordance with other elements and only along these guides to which the image sticks to. Select the image and a little bar will appear on top of it. With this button, you can crop the image. With this slider, uncrop it with the next one. Then you can attach a link to the image. Paste it here and apply. For a visitor, clicking on the image will take him to the source of the link. Then you can remove it and more options are to replace it with new image from the computer or from the drive. Then you can add an alternative text for people who have troubles loading the image. And then add a caption to let's say credit the author or specify some details. And you can also collapse it so it will be seen only when you click on the image. And we're good here. These are pre-made text boxes. The title and the normal text, which are fully customizable with this bar that we went through earlier. Yet, let's do something here. And this is how you add text and customize it. Then you can move text boxes by press holding on these dots on top and dragging. And stick it to guys. All these other blocks are similar blanks with minor changes. These are just another layout of elements and their number. Like with this one, just three boxes from media. And with the title and description for each. Or this one with areas for media only. Again, you can move all elements inside the block, sticking it to guides. And of course, you can add text boxes with a button from the toolbar. Then we're gonna put it below this box. It will stick to it. Then let's make one more and put in it below another box for media and keep going. 
Yet, you are not limited to creating a layout for elements with these blanks only. You can achieve the same result all by yourself, or create a unique one with the same ease. And before that, let me introduce you to a little handy shortcut. Click twice on some empty space and you'll get this little wheel with things to insert without going to the toolbar. This stands for image. Insert one from your drive. Double click again on this new block, but this time add in a text box with the button in the middle. Then one more for a description. And you have an identical copy of this first block we have added. Then one more image. And rearrange it a bit. Copying title and description. And you have this block from the templates. And then from the wheel with this drive icon, you can insert something from your drive. Then upload straight from your computer and embed a code, to which we will get a bit later. Now more interesting things are below these pre-made block templates, top to bottom. The collapsible group, which works just like a basic drop-down. Then you add one more text box below. And with this way, you create a multi-selection, so when a person clicks on the check mark, it unfolds. Next on the list is Table of Contents. You know it, to help viewers with navigation over the page and to highlight main points. But also to make links to those sections on the page, so a user can quickly jump to some of it. But this is the block to add at the end of page building, since, just like the Table of Contents in Google Docs, it requires having titles. Headings and subheadings with data below them across the page. Let me show you. Now, when a person clicks on the Title 2, he will be sent to where the Title 2 is located on the page. And the same goes for other links. Then a really nice one, the Image Carousel. For this, you have to choose two or more pictures to include in it. And insert. Go into the preview mode. And this element is just what you expect it to be. Four dots here indicating the number of images included. And arrows on left and right to switch between them. Then the button, which is meant to be a link to some external source, and I'd say this clearly demonstrates one of the ideas of Google Sites. To lead a person to something outside of it. You name it, paste the link, and insert. Let's stretch it a bit. And we can put it in the middle of the block. Or move it to another block. Then we have a divider. As simple as it sounds, just divides one block from another by putting this simple line between them. The placeholder is the figure from these blanks, meant to fill the empty space with a form for adding a content. Like this and this. Then you know it, insert in a YouTube video by searching it like you normally do on YouTube from right here. 
or select some uploaded from your drive. As you have seen on many other sites, you can view the video right here inside the YouTube form. Or click on its title and view it on the YouTube itself. Then there's calendar, offering to insert some events from yours or shared calendars within your Google account. Select one and insert on the bottom. That will create this interactable form with your upcoming events. You can customize its looks if you select the element and click on settings. Show title, date, navigation buttons and basically how you want to show it to your visitor. And done. From the visitor's site, it looks like this. A viewer can scroll up and down to see your other events or travel with navigation buttons, or select a specific date, and change the layout to month and week. And this button will take him to a full-screen web version of the calendar. Next, we have a map, which is interesting and simple as well. Enter some city in this field and it will send you right there. And to select a specific building on some street, you enter the address straight away. Select in this drop-down, and it sends you right there and puts a place mark on that place. And then you may want to move the mark for more precision. Or you can insert some of your existing maps on the next tab. Of course, the ones you pre-made in Google My Maps format. And select. And for a visitor, it is a common interactable map that he can zoom in and out and see more detailed info about the location. I'm sure you've seen it on many sites. And then next to it, describe the path, specify working days, hours, and etc. The next five are your common documents with Google Drive, but with a great preview mode since it is based on the Google platform. Docs, slides, sheets, but also interactable forms and charts from Google Sheets. The Docs lets you choose one or a few documents from your drive and insert them right here. As a regular element, you can move and resize it. But for a viewer, it will be an interactable and scrollable element. and this button will send him to the full web version of the document. And all this goes for slides as well. You choose and insert one. Move and resize. And additional settings like switching on the auto start when a viewer will reach it on the page. Loop playback, delay time for auto start, and the starting slide. And a visitor will get it like this. A full flashed view mode for presentation. Switching slides, other settings like full screen, auto play, and others and a link to the original presentation. Basically the same for sheets. Choose one and insert it. Organize it.
Then in the settings, you can choose which sheet to show. And then a visitor will get it this way. A scrollable, partly interactable. And the original file link. What I really love regarding the forms is that they are fully interactable, like it's a full version. When someone sent you a common link to a form and you fill it in the web version. Let's see it from a viewer side. And here you have an absolutely full-fledged interactable and submittable form. Then submit. And the data goes to you. Finally, you can add charts, which are composed inside the Google Sheets document. Pick one, select a chart from the sheet and add a regular chart. And here's how a user will see it. More details. Or he can open a full version on a tab. And we went through all elements that you can add to your site. And finally, you can rearrange all sections on the page. To the left of some block, press hold this grip icon and then drag and put it before or after any other section. Then you can delete sections with the bin icon on the bar. And then there's select a color scheme that you create in advance in the theme staff. We'll get there soon. But before that, there is the pages tab. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodax.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.